Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today, hey, we're going to talk about how to train your eye to pick magazines for resale uh, on eBay. And, and the way I'm going to do this, I did a video like this not too long ago on science fiction books, but the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to just do a bunch of um, just live kind of, you know, it's Shane reacting to what he finds on you know, just drilling down on the eBay sold comps. And I'm just going to show you to start going through sold comps and things that catch my eye. And, you know, it's, it's, it's how I teach myself what's something to look out for, right? It's, it's, it's an easy way to do this. And so you'll just, you know, it's the same thing I did a few weeks ago for the science fiction books, but again, this time it's just for magazines. So, you know, I'm going to cut away. I'm going to go on eBay, type in magazine lots, and um, just turn to the sold filter and and rank by you know the highest price, and then just start going through them and seeing what sticks out. What you know, we'll see what we can learn from it. So we're going to cut away and you know just go through this, and and then you know we'll summarize some of the genres and things that we found at the end. And you know, like always, thanks for the views. Uh, if you hadn't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. You guys keep watching. We'll keep doing this and uh, see what happens. So, all right, I'm going to cut away and we'll just go through this and just kind of learn together on it. Okay. So we'll just see in a little bit. Okay. We're going to start with eBay to, to kind of get into this magazine thing. I've just typed in magazine lot and then minus playboy because you know, it's this magazine lots on what we're going to look at when we put them. It's going to come up with a lot of Playboy magazines in this. And nothing against Playboy magazines. I've sold them in the past and it's fine, but I want to concentrate on other things. So this minus Playboy should take it out of the, the search. So we'll do that. We'll hit search and you know, there's, you know, there's over 120,000 of them. But now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and toggle sold items. And then I'm going to sort, instead of recently ended, I'm going to sort price highest, okay? Now, this is still 27,000 sets of magazines, okay, that have, have sold. But we can start going through this and get some ideas of things, right? So I normally would not, you know, kind of start at this, you know, uh, Four thousand dollars set of magazines, but we'll 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 do these first ones and then we'll we'll dig a little deeper. But right off the bat, we see something that's interesting. It's this Nintendo Power, and um, you know these things sell with lots. But if you ever run across the first couple of issues, and let's let's just we'll just dig deeper. That's what we're going to do on this. If we just dig into the N Nintendo Power magazine here, and Again, sold's turned on, but you can see where people have graded them. And this is like issue number one is $2,000 graded. That's crazy, right? There's like a 6.5 that's still 1500 But if you go down, you know, we should see there's 81 of them for, you know, so those are selling for a little less than $10 a piece in that lot. And that's a takeaway for this Nintendo Power is if you find them in, in bulk, they're going to, you know, bring somewhere between that, you know, eight to twelve dollars each range. You can see here's twenty up, twenty one electronic gaming magazines. But I was trying to find. Oh, here's one. Okay, here's a here's the number one issue of Nintendo Power that was from 1988. It has the poster. It's not been CGC graded and still had a you know had a best offer on five hundred and fifty. So you're probably still talking five or six hundred bucks if it's in good shape. Um, there's a $500 one. So, you know, to, to the point, Nintendo power would be something that if I saw a bunch of them, I would, I would want to, to look for. Right. So let's go back to the magazine lot, filtering out the playboys. Uh, we'll start, you know, just, just scrolling through here and see what we see. Okay. Dragon magazine. Okay. This is a classic. Um, I, you know, I don't know if they still, I can remember this from way back. Um, let's just look at dragon magazine. Um, Dragon Magazine. We'll just search it this way. Um, we're still in highest and still sold. Let's see what we, you know, here's 99 issues. They're bringing about 10 bucks a piece in lots. Um, you know, different, 
But yeah, this is the whole Dungeons and Dragons kind of thing. If I saw anything like this, you know, it's fantasy Dungeons and Dragons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. Um, let's go back to our uh, search. We'll we'll just keep digging digging down. Lots of Nintendo powers in the magazine. It's funny that this these are the you know top ten or twelve. It's it's crazy, huh? Um, scroll on down here. Find find some 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 more stuff. Well, maybe my filters. Maybe I didn't catch up. Let's see here. I should have gone one more. Let's refresh that. There we go. That's that's more better. Uh, heavy metal magazines again. See, there's a hundred of them, so they're selling for about you know, 18, $18 each, you know, um, heavy metal would be a good one. Um, you know, there's, let's go. all right. This is kind of a, a, a good genre to be thinking of. There's, I always put these into kind of like the, the comic fanzine kind of things, but in general, horror mags, you've got weird, you've got uh, Fangora, you've got uh, eerie, creepy, all of those in that genre, you know, they don't have to be, you know, they're not like super old, but they're, uh, they're good. Um, okay. This one's interesting to me. It's 126 issues of amateur wrestling. Okay. So that's again, about 10 bucks each in this lot. Let's, let's see what re wrestling magazines, or as you say in the South wrestling, um, let's just see if I put wrestling magazine lot and let's just see what we get. Um, okay. Well, look, there's, there's some luchador kind of things. Does that look like my dusty road roads? Some of the old, old time guys. These are 37 of them. Um, vintage wrestling, you know, those are bringing like three to $4 each. So, you know, here, this is one, you know, that it's, you can see that there's battling girls. There's, there's different, there's a Andre the giant right there. Some Hulk Hogan, WWF, uh, 29 of them from the eighties, you know, there's bringing about 10 bucks a piece. So this is, would be a, a, a topic that, uh, you know, Randy, the macho man savage right there. I saw him once as a kid, I was like 10 years old. It was, uh, he actually lost the match to this, uh, um, guy that never it was called the Mexican angel and this guy beat him. And it was, I was so sad that macho man lost. Um, yeah, so you can just see, this is the sort of thing that, that I would look for, right? This, this shows me that if I were to see a pile of, you know, wrestling magazines or, you know, that I would, I would check, I would check these out, you know, it's a good, good thing. All right. Let's get back to we're gonna get dig a little deeper here. We've got skateboarder magazines, another one. Um, now that's interesting. It's like these these auto, collectible automobiles, and it looks like there's a 237 of them. So it's like a thousand bucks best offer. So they were bringing in a, in a big lot like that, four to five dollars each. Um, it's funny how some things, you know, I don't know why, I guess it's because it had magazine there, posters. Sometimes the filter, you get still get weird stuff in, right? More wrestling. Oh, here's an interesting one. Vintage Vogue. See, this is something that would not normally be in my wheelhouse, right? That I, I would, I might, this is good. You know, you learn something all the time. Uh, but Vogue magazines, I know these are usually really big, thick magazines, you know, from, there's 23 of them from the 80s. Uh, no labels, 700 bucks. Let's, let's dig deeper on, on Vogue. Um, let's just see what in general, what Vogue, I know some of the foreign Vogues are, are pretty expensive. Um, uh, there's a Vogue Paris. It's not, maybe not something you're going to see, but, um, very readily. It's just trying to see here. Um, 2002 to 2011. U.S. Vogue. That's that's crazy. I don't know. Let's see how many are in this lot. Um, see if it if it tells us. Um, September issue lot. Oh, well, I guess they've got. It's all September's. That's an interesting way to do it. Um, looks like maybe ten, eight or ten, ten of them. That's amazing. That price. I'm really. 
I'm really surprised at that price. Um, okay, let's keep going here and see what see what it's what it's doing. Uh, more Vogues. Wow, there's some really there's like they're broken up. I'm really surprised at some of these on uh, Vogues. How much I'm gonna have to start looking looking at these because I I run into these. Let's see what. Um, like if I was to look like at 2023, see what, um, okay. It's interesting. Took a bunch of the Barbie magazines and put them together, you know, different, there's, there's, um, Vogue and other Margot Robbie's together for 45. That's an interesting way to, you know, kind of a th Barbie themed lot for magazines. Pretty cool. 2023. I was just trying to see if, um, 21 to 23, 13 of them for 35, about $3 each. So I think maybe the vintage ones are bringing, bringing more. So that's kind of, kind of interesting. I'll have to do some more research on that. But that, this is exactly what I do if, if I'm trying to learn how to do stuff. It's kind of the thought process, right? So learning, learning together here. Um, let's go back down to where we were. Let's when we saw the Vogue's, you know, look, you know, this actually seems pretty cheap to me. The, uh, 376 of these, um, you know, old sci-fi fantasy, you know, that's only like two and a half bucks each. Um, that seems like a good deal. Somebody bundled those pretty cool, but that's, that's exactly, I mean, I would buy that all day long if I saw those just for myself. Right. Um, okay. Let's get on down more WWF wrestling magazines. Um, there's uh, black hair, 11 of them. That's interesting for 700 bucks best offer that is just shows there's it's one thing about magazines you see all kinds of just weird stuff right here's some early miss magazines from the 70s you know that's the first wonder woman it says 43 of them about 10 bucks each that's pretty pretty sweet okay true there's kind of true detective police detective those are old ones so you can tell those are you know probably 40s or 50s or Nintendo Power, that first heavy metal classic cover, right? Uh, what's this one? Weird New Jersey. Boy, that's that's cool. Sixty issues for f Weird New Jersey. That's awesome. Um, more horror type. Epic was like a that's a spin. I think Marvel. Yeah, Marvel did that. Um, I can remember those in the probably in the late seventies, early eighties when they started printing those. Yeah, you know, for for a few years they had some had some some Elric stuff in them. So uh, again, Vampirella would be in the, the horror uh, kind of thing. Um, vintage Jet magazines from the fifties. You know uh, these vintage things you kind of put in a category of their own, right? You run across stuff from the fifties in the sixties. It's definitely worth looking at it just from you know the types of things that. You know, just just the art, the they're just getting into that real old collectible type type thing. Our George magazines, uh, fourteen of them from the nineties. Look, four four forty four. That's pretty wild. Um, got the Mister America bodybuilding stuff, vintage stuff from the sixties. Some of those are no brainers. You know, you run across those, you're probably gonna be like, "Those are cool. I'm gonna buy them." Um, Let's scroll on down. Let's get down into some of the, let's go down and get down into some of the lower. Yeah. Sometimes you know, it gets, it gets things like, you know, comics and, and things. So let's go like five pages in and see what we're finding. Okay. Let's see if we see more heavy metal, there's low rider magazine. Um, one thing about magazines, you get, you can get some some of these images that you, that are are scrolling by that I'm not specifically calling out. You can see uh, there's there's some some crazy series and titles, right? Um, oh, Make Magazine. I've sold these before. Um, a lot of these. It's actually a dollar each. These things are heavy too. Boy, that's that's gonna be some serious sh shipping. It's a cool magazine though. It's kind of a do it yourself kind of magazine. Um, Again, there's some more George magazines from the nineties. That's ten dollars a piece for those. That's about to keep my eye out if I see a bunch of those. Um, okay. Fishtail motorcycle club magazines, you know. 
that's uh, that's pretty cool. Thirty nine of them. I don't know what year those are. Let's see if it says. Oh, I don't know if it popped up the window that we that's viewing right to dig into those. Sorry. All right, now here's something that I haven't really ever sold is, and I'll tell you why. Life magazines they're so big. I never have boxes that'll fit them. Um, you know that's actually a pretty good deal right there. 40, 40 of them for. 138 so they're bringing you know about three dollars three and a half dollars each but not big money on those unless i think you have key issues but i've kind of stayed away from the life magazines just because just the format the size is so hard to to for me to ship i just haven't you know i haven't just wanted to do it oh now here's one that's interesting look wizard this is the old uh comic price guides i think these started like the 90s in the 90s um you know, you see, you see Wizard has, and scroll down here, Wizard, you know, they do price guides. It was, these were real popular in the 90s, kind of what was hot, uh, kind of, kind of cool. Yeah. I'm surprised those are like $10 each. Um, okay. Railways Magazine. Well, Railways in Australia, 22 of them. It's about $4 each. That's one, if you found a stack of those, that's, that's anything train related, always, always check it out. Um, what is this desert magazine of the Southwest? See, this is something that'd be like, not worth, it wouldn't be worth my effort really. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, there's 85 of them, they're like 50 cents each. That's just not even worth, unless it's just something you had. I wouldn't want to deal with that. Um, war gamer magazine. That's kind of cool. 24 of them from the eighties. Looks like maybe it had some different uh, war games type, you know, since it says Unpunch, probably had some cards and stuff in it. 150 bucks. Um, hmm, rags, counterculture, fashion. Yeah, that sort of thing. If you find, run it, you know, it's again, it's kind of the classic, classic mad magazines from the 70s. It's it actually brings more than I would have thought to. Again, Low Rider is always popular. Don't, I, I don't ever run, run across those. Uh, vintage Jet. Um, let's see. There's a radio and television news. That's interesting. Again, they're 50s, though. You know, you get into the 50s and 60s. That's, uh, that's interesting. All right, so here, Lifetime. I, I don't, that may be that um, Amiga Watch book. Let's just drill into this one. Yeah, that's uh, if you can if you can see here, we'll you we see Omega, it's Omega, but I think that people it's what the watches say Omega. Um, I've got a story with an Omega watch. I have to tell you it sometime. I found one at an estate sale once. It's pretty cool. Got it for like two dollars. Um, what's this? Oh, Bella Grace. I've sold these before. Yeah, Bella Grace is bring about twenty bucks each. There's nine. Anytime I see Bella Grace. Um, even single issues I I've sold had really good looks selling these. You can tell here, see, they're very, they're very artsy, very, you know, it's all about, you know, living a good life, all the, you know, fashion tips, everything else. It's pretty, pretty good stuff. So, um, that's definitely a good, good magazine. So you see, see, so you see these Nintendo powers and you don't have to have, Full sets of these, right? Here's just 24 of them, and most of them have posters. And there's that, that's those are people are digging those. And heavy metal, both are really good ones. Um, again, in the horror thing, you know, Fangoria. Uh, this is like the Savage Sword of Conan. I put this one in the comic thing. All right, here's interesting. This is, um, I think this shows kind of how some of the old. You know, even, you know, what, what I would call kind of mainstream thing, these 17 magazines, you know, the, the magazine 17, but they're all from the 70s, right? There's only 14 of them and they're bringing, you know, it was the best offer, but you know, you're probably in that eight to $10 range. So, um, home and furniture, fine woodworking. Um, you know, I, I, need, I see these quite a bit, this fine woodworking. I've, I've seen these. I need to, this is one I need to research this. That was 14 issues of, of fine woodworking. That's, um, 
that's one that, that can pop up. Uh, that's one I need to make a note to myself to, to look at. And look, we're not even that far down into the, we were like on page five of, of the listings, right? And you're already seeing some some redundancy in, in the types of things that are really selling good in lots. You know, you've got your mads, your heavy metals, you know, um, you know, horror type, type, type books. It's, you know, again, these live 16 of them for the older lives from the 40s. That's not that's not bad. You know, it's ten bucks each. It's just like I said. Oh, cross stitch, cross stitch magazine. These are actually Disney ones. Seven of them for one hundred thirty two bucks. That's that's cool. You get there is cross stitch magazines always so good, and this is the Disney variant. So that that's a that's an interesting twist. Um, look at their British Vogue. There's old Vogue six issues from the fifties and sixties. One hundred thirty five. Um, yeah, you see these these Nintendo powers, man. You, you see those, you need to look for them. You know, more more science fiction, forty of them. It's only three dollars each. Still, I would have thought it would have been more. Uh, Overdrive. This looks like uh, big rig type type stuff. You know, one hundred fifty bucks for five of them. Yeah, trucking. You know, anything like specialty motorcycle books. Um, uh, Rolling Stone. Bring two dollars each. Um, that's, that's, yeah, well, you know, if you run across them, that's why you don't want to pay too much. You want to stay in that, you know, if you can get them, you know, five for a dollar or something, 10 cents each. Um, uh, what's this one? New type. Not, not, it's anime. Let's go down to, um, what's that? What was that? Rob report? Where was that? I saw So the Rob Report Vintage Magazine lot. Let's see, let's see what, how many it says is, is in here. Uh, Twelve of them. That's interesting. Um, this is from the eighties. You know, it's like your your big money Rolls Royce. All the that's one. That's good. That's interesting. Okay. Um, this is exactly how I do it, though. This is how I kind of train my eye. I go in here and again, motorcycles, uh, you know, horror, you know, 22, even 22 old Mac world, you know, these are probably, you know, from the eighties, early nineties, 75 bucks, you know, they're bringing about three bucks each. If you get them for the right price, um, it just, it's just whether or not the space and the weight, let's skip on down. We'll do a few more and call it. You get the idea. It's kind of just interesting stuff that catches my eye that I want to, to remember, train myself to look at, uh, teen magazines. So this is, I suppose, 2038 of them. Mm, bring about two fifty each. That's, you know, again, that's, that's a lot of weight and shipping for that. Um, just, um, uh, space in my inventory. I don't know that I, I like to be a little bit, you know, have a little more profit than that. So old Starlog uh, Sci-Fi, forty-two of them. Again, it's about two fifty each. Uh, oh, you will see in magazines you get, you know, like gun magazines in there. It's like uh, just keywords, more horror. Yeah, these vintage Vogues, you know, nineteen of them. So it's bringing, you know, about five bucks each. I want to really check those out. Nintendo Power. Moves, um, gaming. So I think you kind of put that into the same thing as Nintendo Power. You know, if you find anything with gaming, probably could be anything on Nintendo, PlayStation, any of those. Um, there's True Detective magazines uh, from the 90s. See, there's 22 of them, it said. I think it said 22. Yeah. Uh, True Detective magazines. Put them together. Look, it's all getting close to 100 bucks. That's... You know, you're getting that four to five dollars each range, you know. So, kind of just something to remember there. That's good. Hot Rod magazines from the fifties. I think when these get, you know, if you notice something that that you know the newer ones on something like that haven't haven't shown up. Another thing that hadn't showed up is like some of like the popular science. I think they're they're deeper down. I just don't think you're going to get, you know, you you haven't seen a lot of the, you know, like Southern living. Let's just, let's just see, look at that. Let's just look at magazine lot with like Southern living's a uh, you know, popular kind of, let's just see how those, those are running. 
Okay, from the 60s, you got five of them for 50 bucks. And from the 80s to 12, you know, see, you're getting whole years in the 2000s for 20 bucks. I mean, you can still sell them and make money on it, but that's still, you're only getting like 20 bucks for the whole year. Just, so you got to be careful what you pay for them. But, you know, I guess there, there's, there's still potentially money to be made there. Garden and Gun. It's one that I've sold before, had good success with it. But, you know, this is pulling some other things, you know, good housekeeping, Southern living. You know, you're seeing that the price per magazine in those, right? There's 18 for 24. You're getting down to that dollar, dollar 50. So if you're getting it for 10 cents each and, you know, or effectively free, then, you know, there's, there's money to be made there as long as you can, you know, pass along the shipping costs. Don't have to be careful on shipping. Um, I had said cross stitch magazine. So let's look at cross stitch real quick. Magazine lot. Let's just say cross stitch. See what see what kind of things come up. Fifty eight new stitches for three hundred. Um, there's pins and needles. See, they're different. I don't know what this one's only thirty dollars, like fifty cents. This one's getting you know like that five dollars each. The Disney ones we saw. Here's 25 cross stitching magazines for 125. So they're bringing about five bucks a piece. Um, 25 for, so you kind of see, you know, there's 15 for a hundred. So yeah, cross stitch pretty good for about four to five dollars a piece, right? There's some that's 11. It's like, you know, it's cross stitching. You see a bunch of cross stitch magazines, check them out. So, all right. So that's, um, that's it. Uh, let's just, that, that, that gives you an idea of things, how, how I do it, how to find them. So hopefully that gives you some insight on how to train your eye. This is exactly what I do to learn. So we'll switch back over and I'll close out. All right. That's how I do it. Sometimes if I'm just eating lunch at work, I can pull up eBay. I can go to the sold items and I can just, you know, go through while I eat my lunch and look at things. And it's, it's, it's helped me over the years train my eye okay so from that on the magazines there's certain things that, that I, I see you know one that was we saw a lot of um heavy metal the nintendo powers uh dragon magazines epic magazines you know these are things to always look out for the horror genre that would be things it kind of crosses into kind of that um comic graphic novel kind of thing but you know eerie creepy um uh, Fangoria, all those kinds of things, you know, monster kind of things. Uh, there, I specifically saw, you know, a lot of stuff on Vogue, especially, you know, something for me to learn more about, uh, the magazine George, especially, you know, even things in the eighties and nineties seemed to be pretty good. Uh, there were a lot of vintage jet, uh, 17 magazines, uh, things like hot rod. We saw, um, the wizard, um, you know, comic, comic kind of magazines, but the, the ones that I had noted too, that I didn't see a lot of times I do see stuff like on chess, um, on muzzle loaders and, and, you know, kind of that vintage, you know, gun type things, uh, and the highlights magazines, like the kids children's magazines. I didn't see those in, in this, this little foray, but it, it could just be there under different filters or whatever, but those, those are always the ones that I like. So anyway, I hope you like this format. Uh, look forward to some feedback on it. It's, uh, I know there's a lot of, a lot of stuff there, but it's kind of just as it goes, this is what I, I do. So, um, give me some feedback. If you like it, we'll do some more of these and remember, see cool, buy cool, and, uh, then list it so you can sell it. And again, if you're still there, hit that subscribe button. Keep coming back. We'll keep doing it. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.